AI coding is evolving by the day with new releases of apps and models every single week. Introducing Refact an open source copilot alternative available as a self-hosted and cloud option. It's a new AI coding assistant that combines auto completion as well as refactoring as well as incorporating an AI chatbot inside your favorite IDE. Now this is backed by an organization called Refact and this is an org that has recently released its own large language model called Refact Code and this is a large language model with the 1.6 billion parameter uh, model and this is something that is for coding and it has actually reached a 32% on human evaluation which is something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video. Now this is a free AI coding assistant that is fast and it is a smart AI completion model with its state of the art in size and latency. Now Refax auto completion feature works with around 20 different types of programming languages including Python, JavaScript, Java, Go, Rust, C++ and so many more. Now when you type in this code, the model is automatically generates the suggestions by looking up context as well as searching through the web to find the best content to solve your code. Now they also have integrated an AI chat in which you can work alongside with and this is something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video as you go more in depth in showcasing what you can actually do with Refact, how to install it, and going over some of the cool features of this amazing application. So with that thought guys, let's get right into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. Like throughout this channel, we have covered many different types of AI coding assistants, but throughout today's video, we're gonna take a look at Refact AI. And this is a free option and it's quite useful in many ways. Now, this was something that was introduced throughout this year and it's a new step forward as this innovation of this new uh, AI application has been integrated within your own uh, ID. For example, you have JetBrain or VS Code. So it's like a plugin itself that could be integrated within these applications. And it offers you your own personal AI assistant that can help you with code uh, auto completion. You have refactoring and an integrated chat system in which you can work with the AI to help complete your code or work alongside to solve different types of errors. Now, currently, during its technical preview phase, uh, Refact AI is basically available for download as a plugin. But at this current moment, there hasn't been actually a real application that has been created in which you can install on your CPU. So this is one thing that, that you want to keep in mind. But there is a cloud version in which you can access this. So this is quite beneficial in many ways as you can access it in two ways. You have the cloud as well as installing it through a plugin off your IDE. If you guys would like to access our private discord in which you can get amazing giveaways in which we actually have one this month that ends in 10 days. So we're actually giving away a lot of cash. And if you are interested in the giveaways of a prepaid MasterCard, definitely take a look at this with the link in the description below. This is just a start guys. I'm going to give you guys so many exclusive features, subscriptions for free and so much more as we grow this channel. So definitely stay tuned. We have a vibrant discord community. So definitely check this out. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. Uh, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on the YouTube uh, YouTube page, definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned throughout today's video. Now, I, as I stated at the start, you can basically create your account and have it hosted on a cloud or you can download it for whatever plugin that you want. In this case, I'm going to be doing it for VS Code as it's something that I always showcase in my videos. So it's very easy. You just go on to uh, clicking download for VS Code. If you're going to be utilizing this for this ID, then click download. Now, in this case, if it doesn't show up, you can obviously just uh, continue forward and you can open up Visual Studio Code. Now, it's fairly easy and you're able to download it fairly quick. And oh my bad, I keep clicking the wrong thing. But in this case, it's gonna start installing this as I click install. Uh, it might take a couple of minutes, but once this is done, I'll be right back. One thing to note is that you will need to make sure that you have your account created beforehand so that you can easily connect it to VS Code. Now they have a pricing plan, which I'll talk about after I finish the startup. But after you have a, like basically verified your identity and you're not a bot, 
you can then start working with the extension on VS Code as it's fully installed now on this. So you can basically see that it's fully installed and you can start playing around with this on a code which we'll talk about later on in the video. Now one thing I want to emphasize is the pricing plan. So currently they have three pricing structures. Enterprise is just for businesses obviously. Uh, but in this case, you have two different types of plans. You have the free plan and the pay, uh, pro plan. In this case, you have to pay $10 a month if you want to access the pro plan. So you can utilize GPT-4 as well as a code completion powered by advanced refact generation 2 model, which is coming soon. And in this case, I highly recommend you just use the free plan. It's something that you can use for fair use. Uh, it has Discord support, cloud, as well as self-hosting. You have GPT-3.5 and you can access the same types of things. And we know that GPT-3.5, the model itself is so powerful. Uh, you can't even see a difference with GPT-4. Obviously, you can in certain cases, but you can basically utilize GPT-3.5 and you won't realize that difference when you're utilizing GPT-4 and 3.5. So, in my opinion, uh, obviously with code, it's different. But in this case, I highly recommend you just use 3.5 instead of paying an extra $10 when you can just utilize the free service that they have provided. Now, another way to access Refact is through Docker, and this is by running it through a self-hosted server in Docker containers. So this is quite easy. Uh, you need to install Docker with the NVIDIA GPU support. Once you have done that, they have a guide on how to install for Windows as well as for Mac on their GitHub repository. It's fairly easy. You got to just compose a container, launch it, and you're able to host it on your local host with the web GUI. So this is fairly easy to set this up, but in my opinion, the plugin system is the best. Uh, but if you want to have it self-hosted, you can definitely follow through with the Docker container installation. So how does Refact actually work? Now, this is something that will basically give a reflection as to how the models are built upon and how it harnesses other models from the open source world to make its data sets. Now, we can see over here that you have the option to select a range of models and you're able to select each and every one of them in the code completion process as well as tailored towards a specific programming language and task because you have different open source models that are built for only a certain type of programming language so in this case you can choose the most suitable model for your coding needs so this is quite amazing as refact allows you to do this and it utilizes all the other open source models like wizard coder star coder and so many others like llama 2 and it just gives you the best output in terms of the combination of utilizing open source models as well as its own refact model now on this channel we covered many different types of ai coding assistants but one thing that i like really got my eye is that they're trying to have a context aware chat on the entire code base that you have present so this is very very useful as many people do not have this feature with other types of models as they're not able to go over the entire code base in which it can utilize as well as fix and focus on of your own personal code base so in this case they're working on this feature and it will be released throughout this year now they have other features in which they focused on which is auto completion which is powered by the best open source code models as well as gpt5 so in this case you can alter through these models so if you do not want to use the gpt models you can flush it with another open source model so it's completely free for you you have a context aware chat on the current file which is useful because you can upload a file and it'll be aware to chat with whatever data is prevalent throughout the folder that you uploaded you have a refactor feature which explains analyze also you're able to optimize code and fix bug functions as any other coding assistant can uh, you're able to fine tune on the code base but this is only with the self-hosted model which you can definitely take a look at from their docs now there's a couple cool features i want to talk about before we go forward and this is something we saw at the start of the video you have this code completion feature which you can write code and it will suggest you the potential code that will be needed to complete the original input and this is based off the context that you give it you're able to improve code which can identify what like refact will basically take the time to analyze what could be better with the code that you provided and give you potential fixes we have this chat feature in which you can basically work alongside with the ai to help you generate the best 
like output for the code that you give it you have transform and as well as analyzing code which you're able to which just states that analyze the complexity of your code and explains unclear lines of code so this can basically help you transform it to another programming language which we stated there's 20 different types of languaging models that they have basically worked with with this ai coding assistant which we see right here uh there's code privacy as well as you can use it on the cloud as well as your own host so these are some of the features if you want to get more information on this definitely take a look at this on their website as well as their documentation now guys once you're on visual studio code you will see refact over here and you're basically able to start playing with this as you open the panel and which you can also access over here on the left side now over here you're able to have your search bar in which you can press or input any sort of command now if you go down you have the free plan over here uh, you have your account so you need to first actually log into your account to make sure that you're able to access this free plan so in this case you can start off with a new chat and you can work alongside with the code now you can upload whatever file that you want to work with or create a new file so in this case you can just create a new python file in this case and you can start working alongside with the code now if you are to actually click on each of the features you're able to get a demonstration over here which tells you what you need to do so in this case if you have a new file so the, we're just going to create a new python file we're going to put it a random python function and we're going to have it explain the code with the chat so once i'll put the code i'll be right back but in this case if you want to exit you can just click the escape button and i'll just have the chat open on the side as we explain code for something that we put in this file now guys what i did is i inputted a python code snippet that generates a list of sequences from 1 to 11, or 10 sorry and what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna highlight this and i'm gonna click play for the ai explain code feature so in this case it's gonna start analyzing what this code is and I'll, I'll put it over here and we can see that it does a great job as explains this code creates a list called the squares using the list comprehension correct it iterates over the range of 1 to 11 excluding 11 yep this is correct because it's 1 to 10 for each number and the resulting squares are stored in the squares list and we can see that explains this really really well now one thing that you want to know is you can only input 1 to 30 code and you can only analyze it for that segment so if you want to analyze more you'll need to run it again for another 30 uh, code lines of code so in this case if you had 30 lines of code you can only analyze that for one segment so then you will need to analyze the next segment but in most cases you're not going to be needing to analyze everything and explain everything because and you're going to be able to understand what most of it is it's just in complex scenarios you won't be able to understand what that uh, segment or that code it actually is but that's basically what the explain code feature is now if you click exit you can see that there's a fixed bug and in each and every single tab there's different types of uh, explanations as to what uh, the like the features are gives you how to actually run it with the play button it's fairly easy you just highlight it and click play and there's every like sort of tutorial for each feature that they give another cool thing is that you're able to attach different files so you can actually have a new folder being created in which you can have the code inputted and you can start working with that code now one thing that as we talked about at the start is that you can't actually have a comprehension an analysis of a whole code base and this is something that they're working on but once they do release that i'll definitely cover this as that's a big leap in the ai world where you can have an ai chat with the whole code base and have some sort of reference to that code base so this is something that is very very useful in which you can access through visual studio code or whatever preference of ide you have so i hope you found this video to be very beneficial guys and you got some sort of value throughout today's video covering refact ai and that basically concludes today's video uh, i will leave all the links in the description below so you can access it fairly easily uh, make sure you guys check out all the links that i'll post definitely take a look at the patreon page if you guys haven't already uh, we actually have a huge giveaway in which you can access uh, two mastercard gift cards so if you're interested in that definitely take a look this is just the start i'm gonna be doing so much for this i'm gonna give you the best content best exclusive features partnerships collaborations over here so definitely pay attention so you can access more exclusive ai content subscriptions for free with the world of ai patreon page if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter 
definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news god my computer is slow today but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas